Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and last night was an amazing episode of Season 5 of The Masked Singer, Episode 3. And so right now, we're going to go through all of the Pitch Correct audio, the new clues, and pretty much everything else. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So yes, last night we finally got to see Group A perform again, and that included over here the Robopine, the Raccoon, the Russian Dolls, and the Seashell. And the best part was, we got our first wild card. That's right, the Orca came out, like I told you, that was gonna happen, and really rocked the house. Now, Nick Cannon was not in last night's episode, so Niecy Nash was still in there, and she's been doing a fantastic job. Niecy, I know you're probably not going to watch these videos, but um, you're doing a great job. You really are. You are a ton of fun. You know, a lot of people are telling me that they wish that you were the permanent host instead of Nick, but it'd be cool if you both did it. I would think that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, we had a guest judge last night. Joe McHale came by, and he was hilarious the entire night. Here's just a little clip of him making fun of the entire format. Wow. W what? The voice is all distorted. Can you take the they voice don't to Joe? You're not supposed to do that. You can't do that, Joe. Now, last night, only one was going to be sent home, and with the wild card, the wild card was really a game changer. They're putting it because... After these four performed, the orca performed, and then from there, everyone who was voting at home then could choose out of those five which one was going home, which meant that one person from group A could have been sent home while the wild card took their spot, and that's exactly what happened. And give me a drum roll, please. Ba -da -ba -da -boom. The raccoon was revealed to be Danny Trejo. And uh, he did such a fantastic job. His personality on stage was larger than life. I was kind of, it was sad because, yes, he wasn't a good singer. I know Joel made fun of his singing, but he was having such a good time. Anyway, so you get the golden X now. Put that over you. Leaving us for group A, still four people. I'm still trying to figure out how I can get these cards. I would love to get cards to put over here. So if I figure them out, I'll add them to the poster. But that leaves in group A, Robopine. Russian Doll, Seashell, and Orca. Which I kind of just want to like... Want to flip-flop this over here, maybe? I don't know, because now they're out. Maybe we'll do something like that. Ah, that works. Anyway, let's go ahead and break down the rest of the show. We'll go through the clues. The pitch correct audio we will do, it's just going to be at the end of the video, so if you want to skip to the end and listen to that, because I know a lot of you guys are like, I want to listen to the Orca. And by the way, by the way, when you listen to the Pitch Correct audio for the Orca, you know who it is. I mean, I was like, oh my god, it's, a, mm, mm. <laughs> it's someone who you're like, I mean, he talks about pizza boxes and putting his tape in there. You can't put a VHS tape in it. He's not an actor. It's got to be a small tape. It's a singer. He's in a band. Anyway. We'll save that one. The Orca will be the last clues we'll go through. Let's start off with the Russian dolls who multiplied last night. That's right. As we were telling you earlier, there's going to be more. I mean, there's three. And their voices are, the harmonies are great, which means this group has been performing together for such a long time. Now, if you're like me, you got everything typed up. I've got pages and pages of pages to read to you guys. Yes, there's a lot. But... I want you to have your clue list with you and see if you have the same things I have. Uh, 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 ah. Throat is cleared. Let's do this. Kicking off season five was a total rush and we were totally confusing the panel with our harmonies, but we haven't always been in tune. There was a time when, comma, one of the other ones says, uh, you cracked hard. Well, anyway, I was doing what I love when I noticed something was seriously wrong. I was rushed to the hospital and there was no guarantee that I'd be the same. If it wasn't for the glue and the bonds, I may not have survived. And a very talented doctor. The trauma actually made us stronger. And now we don't take anything we do together for granted. Visual clues included a partial solar system. It had, if you look at it, it was Earth, Moon, and then Mars. Standing for three, which probably means three brothers, which is probably a boy band with three brothers in it. There's not many of them out there with three brothers, so uh, I should help you out. After that, we saw a banjo, a hospital, and a fire truck. The night's theme was artwork. Okay, so they would bring out a piece of art 
and then they would talk about it. So for the Russian dolls, it was pretty much the same photo of a person driving a car, but in many different colors. And they said that, you know, like us, this photo popped a color, you know, that they pop with color. Anyway, comment below who you think it is. I'm, I mean, we've already pretty much guessed and I put a thing on um, YouTube community which is a tab on YouTube on my page where you can vote who you want me to reveal first. And I know you guys are probably screaming seashell. And so, uh, I mean, cause I just, I just literally looked not to before the video started and then that was the number one so far. So more than likely that one. So join me tomorrow for that reveal. But anyway, um, comment below who you think that is. Now it's time for the Robo Pine. Robo Pine, right? No, you don't like that, okay. Uh, my first performance made, my, made every quill on my back stand up. I've been in a funk lately, but putting on this prickly, shiny armor and singing my heart out was exactly what I needed. I felt like a singing superhero. Around 60 years ago in Costa Rica, so this person obviously grew up in Costa Rica, my superheroes were the workers whose job it was to keep my streets clean. They had my dream job, but life took me on a different route. To this day, when I see them working, I like to pull over and lend a claw a hand. I like that. Uh, they say, why would a shiny porcupine like you want to get your quills dirty with us? I tell them that they're the true superheroes who helped instill the work ethic that I've carried my whole life, which has gotten me onto big stages just like this. There's someone who's been performing a lot on a lot of big stages. Visual clues included a trash can with an hourglass on it, a lightning bolt, and a stuffed cat. And the RoboPine's art piece was a rocker, hair rocked out with a guitar, and it had spider webs and a spider on it. And he likes to, when he's confronted with something he's scared of, he likes to go ahead and confront it heads on, which is why he put it on there. Now comment below who you think that is. Now it's time for the seashell who, she's had a lot of fun. I have to admit, she, she is a lot of fun. She says it's been ages since I've been on stage. So stepping out in front of you for the first time, I was a bundle of nerves, but I'm still proud of myself for my solo performance. In the past, being alone was scary for me. I always felt like a tiny little shell in a big, big world. But then one day, everything changed. Out of nowhere, a certain shellman asked me out. He was a total jock. Whoa, not cool, guys. But he made me feel larger than life and gave me courage to do things I was always scared of. And no matter how small I may feel on stage, I'm more confident when I dive knowing that there is someone there to catch me. She ended with me. Visual clues. It was a stopwatch with two minutes on it, a black dog watching TV, baseballs and a person playing baseball, bagels, a gray cat, and a small heart on the cactus, and her art. Her art was her standing there with a tornado going off. There was a plate of food and a book and a microphone. She said that she likes to think of herself as a superhero. So comment on who you think it is. And now it's time for the Orca, which, was a, I mean, the orca was rocking out, really having a good time. Orca says, well, it starts off really in a pizza place. Okay, Orca says, welcome to the orca's pie hole. Let me tell you the funny tale how pizza shaped my life. You see, I was 24 and close to becoming a punchline than achieving my goal of becoming a star. My dad told me if I didn't make waves by 25, it was time to move on. The clock was ticking, I had to hustle, so I improvised. I hid my addition tapes inside boxes of pizza and delivered them around the town. And that was my last shot. At the 11th hour, boom! And that's how I accomplished my wild dreams. And now as the wildest card ever, I'm going to blow up this competition. Now call and order our killer special, extra large with extra anchovies. Visual clues included a pizza place. The pizza specials were weird. It was lemon pizza, pumpkin pizza, and orange pizza. There was a clock with 259 on it, a VHS tape, and the address 1313 Melville Court. Now, the orca's art was him surfing in a fighter jet behind him. Yes, quite interesting, right? Now it's time for the Pitch Correct audio. I'm gonna play a little bit of the original audio they gave us. Now, I only Pitch Correct them talking to the judges. Maybe for the other video when we actually do the full Pitch Correct one, maybe I'll do the clue packages, but for this case, this is them talking to the judges, and uh, I'll play a little bit of ours, or a little bit of their audio, and then our audio. Here you go. Well, these colors just really pop like we do. Well, these colors just really pop like we do. 
I used to have a phobia with spiders. Ah. And so this was my way of confronting my fears, wearing the things that I fear the most. I used to have a phobia with spiders. Ah. And so this was my way of confronting my fears, wearing the things that I fear the most. I wear many hats, so sometimes it could be a little tornado, but I like to see myself as a superhero. I wear many hats, so sometimes it could be a little tornado, but I like to see myself as a superhero. Well, I'm always a killer, and I'm always the biggest fish in every sea, so I always get the biggest wave, because nobody snakes the orca. Well, I'm always a killer. And I'm always the biggest fish in every sea. So I always get the biggest wave. Because nobody snakes the orca. So the orca, right? You think you know who that is? I mean, look up that person. And then type in like, pizza delivery. How do they become famous? And then you'll get your answer. Yes, it, it comes up. It pro I promise you it comes up. But comment below who you think any of them are in the comment section, right? Like Orca blank, Seashell blank, Russian Dolls blank, Cludle Do blank. I didn't do the pitch correct audio for the Cludle Do, Clue Do this episode because we already did it twice. But um, maybe in the other video we might do more of it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me if you haven't done so yet. Please go ahead, subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And you know I like to leave you guys with a question at the end of the video because I think it's hilarious when you comment something that's got nothing to do with the Masked Singer and people are like trying to figure out why the heck are people talking about fast food or this and that and blah, blah, blah. And so for those who don't know me very well, I actually worked at an amusement park for seven years, I was a manager at Maury's Piers in Wildwood, New Jersey, and our supervisor, our manager anyway, it was a long time ago. And um, so I wanna know, besides like Universal Studios, besides Six Flags, and besides, uh, besides Disney World, Disneyland, what is your favorite theme park and why? I kinda wanna know, I like all these older, like mama and pop places, you know, around us in South Jersey, uh, there was another park, it's actually one of the oldest in America called Clementon Park. And it operated from like somewhere, it was either late 1800s or like 1909 or something like that until 2019. And it shut down because of money issues and then of course the pandemic hit and that park was just sold yesterday. And um, a lot of memories growing up there and it's a part of land where you know they're, they're just gonna knock it down and build the condos or something, but in the last minute, a big organization came together and bought it, and they're gonna restore the park and re reopen it hopefully by this summer. So I wanna know, what is your favorite mama and papa amusement park and why? So let me know in the comments section. I know it took a lot of time for this, but I told you I would add more questions at the end. Anyway, thank you again for joining me. I'm Joey, stay safe everyone. I'll see you later, bye.